May 5th meeting of the Cookville City Council to order. Can we have a roll call, please? Councilman Woodford. Present. Councilman Henry. Here. Mayor Shelton. Here. Vice Mayor Epps. Here. Councilman Walmart. Here. All present. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite those that wish to do so to stand for the invocation given tonight by David Hill, President of Tennessee Bible College, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States flag. Would you bow with me, please? Gracious God, Eternal Father, we thank you for the beautiful day that you've allowed us to see and to live. We're thankful for the blessing of being able to live in this part of the world and to call this place home. Dear Father, we thank you for our great nation. We pray for those who lead. And in a special way, we ask your blessings to be with this council tonight and always as they make decisions that affect the citizens. We pray that their decisions will be based on good and right and uh, for the uplifting of this community. We're thankful, dear Father, that you have given us the freedom and uh, the freedom to make choices in this nation. We ask your blessings to be upon our great nation this year as choices are made for those who will lead at all levels of government, especially those who will lead uh, in the national government. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us a wonderful Savior in Jesus Christ our Lord. It's in him that we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item three, consider approval of agenda as presented. Are there any changes? Uh, Mayor and Council, I would ask that uh, we remove item 7A from the agenda. That that item has been worked out as of today, so I would ask that you remove that from the agenda. Okay, is there a motion to approve as amended? So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All vote? Five yes votes. Motion carries. Item 5, Old Business 5A, consider approval of minutes of council meeting held on April 21st, 2016. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion and second. Any discussion? All vote? Five yes vote. Motion. Two. Five B. Consider on second and final reading ordinance O one six zero three zero four amending ordinance O one five one two three five revising the description of property to be rezoned on Lone Oak Drive. Mr. Mills. Mayor, council members, uh, the property in question is depicted on the screen. Let me get to this last slide here. Um, basically, this ordinance reduces the amount of property that's going to be rezoned. It removes a portion of parcel 13 with an existing structure from the rezoning. This will reduce the area to be rezoned from 0.92 acres to 0.83 acres. As with the original ordinance, this ordinance is subject to the approval of a subdivision plat combining the portions of parcels 12, 12.01, 13 on map 66A group A with parcel 9, which is this large parcel here. So this is again contingent upon this portion of the properties being rezoned, being combined into this, which would then prohibit access from Lone Oak Drive. The Planning Department recommends for the adoption of the ordinance. We've received no comments since first reading. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion is second. Anyone would like to speak to the motion? All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Okay, six is the consent agenda. Six A, uh, consider awarding bid for transformers for the electric department. Six B, set a date June 2nd, 2016 for a public hearing on ordinance 0160506 rezoning property located on West Broad Street. Tax map 53BP 5.04 from MS Medical Services to CL Local Commercial. C, set a date June 2nd, 2016 for a public hearing on ordinance 0160507 rezoning a portion of 1976 North Dixie Avenue from RD single family and duplex residential to CL local commercial. 6D, set a date uh, June 2nd, 2016 for a public hearing on ordinance 0160508 rezoning the northeast corner of Breeding Avenue and Flat Hollow Road from RS15 single family residential to RS10 single family residential. <laughs> and 6E set a date June 2nd, 2016 for a public hearing on ordinance 0160509 amending the zoning code pertaining to revising the provisions of the CL, CG, CR, and PCD zoning districts to allow retail package stores for the sale of alcoholic beverages to be located on parcels having street frontage and access on Spring Street between State Highway 111 East to the northern right-of-way of Interstate 40. Do I have a motion on the consent agenda? So moved. Motion a second. Any discussion? All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Under new business, 7B, consider resolution R160510 authorizing the public building authority to make certain re renovations to the Leslie Town Center. Mike Davidson. 
Mayor and Council Members, the uh, Public Building Authority along with the uh, Chamber of Commerce is uh, seeking authorization to enclose some open space in the uh, Leslie Town Center. As, as you enter the building and um, go upstairs, uh, there's an open space, open floor, not floor space, but there's an open space overlooking the banister where you uh, enter the building and they'd like to floor that space in, create two offices up there. This is a diagram of what they're requesting to do. You can see in the lower right hand corner that would be the offices that would be uh, created in that area. Uh, the chamber has the funding to uh, cover the, the renovation costs and I would recommend approval. Thank you, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second, any discussion? All vote. Five yes votes, motion carries. 7C, consider authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement with BB&T Insurance <laughs> Services to pro provide broker services for the employee health insurance. Ms. Simon. Mayor and council members, we recently requested proposals for brokerage services for employee health insurance plan. We received eight proposals. I've got them shown there. Um, BB&T Insurance Services of Cookville, Concord Insurance of Knoxville, Cumberland Insurance Agency of Cookville, Hub International Knoxville, Cheryl Morgan of Nashville, Swallows Insurance Agencies of Cookville, Trinity Benefit Advisors of Knoxville, and Van Meter Insurance Group of Franklin. Um, in order to evaluate these proposals, we created a committee of four employees. Each committee member evaluated all the proposals and rated them on qualifications, service, experience, presentation, and responsiveness. Um, the, we tallied all the, the totals, the scores after that, and we did telephone interviews and reference, track, reference checks on the, on the four that were the, scored the highest. Um, the committee then made a recommendation from there, and the committee is recommending BB&T Insurance Services, Inc. Let me move it ahead one. Um, they will receive a stop-loss commission of 10% and $3 per employee per month of admin fee. And using our April 1st figures, we estimate that annual cost to be about $36,000. But of course, depending on the number of employees that participate in the new stop loss contract, that amount may vary. Um, some of the services that they will provide includes, um, I've got a list of them there, but they'll complete in the first year a detailed data analytical report and they'll help us set a three to five year strategy for our plan. And another one on there that we um, really needed help with was assistance with ACA and other regulatory compliance issues. Um, I am requesting authorization for the city manager to execute an agreement with BP, BB and T Insurance Services for these services. And I would recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Seeing none, I'll vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. 7D, consider approval of engineering proposal for the design of a sidewalk project funded by TDOT Multimodal Access Grant. Mr. Brown. Mayor and Council, the city recently received a multimodal access grant amount of $950,000. It's for the construction of a sidewalk from the uh, intersection of Denton Avenue and Broad uh, East on Spring Street to Old Kentucky Road. Um, because of the, uh, getting the grant, we advertise for qualifications for design services. Uh, we received several uh, proposals. We put together a committee to uh, evaluate them, and Reagan Smith came out on top. And we've negotiated a fee of $100,000 for the design services, and this will take us all through preliminary design all the way up to bidding the project. And I would recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Thank you. 7E, consider approval of electrical inspection service agreement for the codes department. Mr. Littrell. Mayor and City Council, our electrical inspector has taken another position uh, effective, uh, well, Friday, uh, May 13th will be his last, last day. So that'll leave us without anyone to do electrical inspections. Uh, this agreement, if approved, would be, con would be uh, an agreement with the uh, McHenry contracting to continue to do our electrical inspection until we can get that position filled. I'd like to ask for your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Discussion? Seeing none, all vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Seven G, consider authorizing the payment to U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Oh, I'm, 
I'm yes. sorry. Uh, 7F, consider authorizing the city manager to execute an interconnection parallel operating agreement with Restoration Services Incorporated for the HBP solar system. Mr. Peake. Mayor and Council, seems like we've been talking about this for the last month or two. Uh, at your previous, at our previous meeting, you guys uh, approved a engineering contract to look into the safety of this system. And uh, that helped us uh, in writing this interconnection parallel operation agreement. Uh, this agreement uh, sets out the requirements that the solar folks would have to do to interconnect the one megawatt solar system to the CED power system. Uh, as I mentioned, the consultants have completed their system impact study. Those uh, things that came from that study have been incorporated in this agreement. Uh, the solar folks are responsible for all the costs associated with this project. Uh, there will be an annual charge that's built into the agreement for Cook Electric Department's maintenance on the uh, interconnection equipment. Uh, and I'm also going to require a deposit because uh, we're going to have to order quite a bit of equipment uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, probably $100,000. So I want a deposit of about $35,000 at all times. Then, as we order equipment and pay for it, we'll invoice them. They'll pay the invoice at the end of the project will uh, clear everything up and send whatever of their deposit back to them at that time. Uh, the request tonight, uh, I, I would like to add a couple of contingencies if I may. One of those is that the uh, RSI group execute this agreement. And secondly, point out that approval of this agreement does not authorize or grant approval for the solar folks to start any construction in the Highland Business Park. And approval to begin the construction is contingent upon those folks meeting all the terms and conditions of the City of Cookville and Putnam County and must be approved by the City Council and the Putnam County Commission. And that has to do with the land, whether it's leased or sold. And with all that, I'd uh, recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? So I'll move. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Seven G. Consider authorizing payment to U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for repairs to Center Hill Dam. Mr. Kelly. Mayor and Council. Uh, back in 2003, City of Cookville signed a water storage agreement with the uh, uh, Corps of Engineers to reserve our space in that reservoir for our drinking water purposes. Uh, in part of that contract, there is a Contract five, part 5B is the repair and rehabilitation or replacement cost. And basically it says if they have any replacement re, uh, rehab projects, we're going to pay 0.533% of that cost. <clears throat> now the dam repairs can be classified as either major rehabilitation or as dam safety assurance. If it's classified as dam major rehabilitation, Cooper would pay 100% of that 0.533% cost. If it's classified as a dam safety assurance, Cooper would pay 15% of that cost. So the National Corps, when the Corps started the project, started building it, they're finished with part of it. That's why we've received the bill now. But the National Corps of Engineers District Office recommended that it was a dam safety assurance project. The uh, regional office, which is located in Cincinnati, concurred with their recommendation and then passed that on up to uh, the secretary, assistant secretary of the army but the assistant secretary of the army designated the project as a major rehabilitation project now what's that mean for cookville uh, so if it's classified as major rehabilitation cookville's cost is the 1.496 million currently if it's a dam safety designation, it's a $224,000. So the impact our ratepayers is $1.2 million on this bill we've currently received. And there's another bill to come in the future when they finish the remainder of the project. So uh, we've been talk. I've been talking about this with multiple congressional people, uh, other agencies, the Corps of Engineers for a long time, and 
I think we're at the point of I would recommend that we pay 15 percent what we think we owe and give us some more time to see if we can't get a, a legislative fix and get this worked out somehow that'd be my recommendation thank you is there a motion so moved second motion a second any discussion um, I'll just say that he Ronnie has worked a tremendous tremendous amount on this this is a very aggravating and frustrating situation that we're in and um, we um, hope to pay uh, only the 15 and we will reluctantly if we have to pay the other but we're going to try to resolve these, this issue with, through our delegations as he said we have uh, numerous meetings uh, set up to try to resolve this so we will continue to try to do that over the next 60 days so all vote Five yes votes. Motion carried. Seven H consider awarding bid for cleaning services, water quality control, and public works department. Mr. Kelly. Mayor and Council, uh, the public works and our department went together and, and collectively bid our cleaning services. Uh, the Clean Corp was the low bidder for the water quality is one one thousand three hundred twenty five dollars a month. Public works was one thousand two hundred seventy five dollars a month, and we collectively recommend approval of the low bidder. Thank you. Is there a motion? So I'll move. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? Uh, yes. Ronnie, are these, are these local companies? Uh, this guy, he, uh, he used to be local, and they did it one year. They moved to Knoxville, and I think they're back to Crossville, and they're trying to get business this way because they want to come back to Cookville, but currently does not live in Cookville. Any other comments? I'll vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Seven I consider awarding bid for lawn maintenance, water quality department, Mr. Kelly. Mayor and Council, we uh, bid out uh, some lawn maintenance on our pump station water tanks and received bids. Bay's maintenance was the low bidder and meeting specs, and we'd recommend their approval. Is there a motion? So I'll move. Second. Any discussion? And they are local. Yes, I think yes. they currently are doing work for the public works. All right, I'll vote. Five yes votes, motion carried. And 7J, consider awarding bid for two inch sewage combination air release vacuum valves, Mr. Kelly. Uh, Mayor and Council, we opened bids and received bids on uh, some two inch air release valves that we need for inventory. HD Supply Water Works was a low bidder meeting specs and would recommend their approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll move. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? I'll vote. Five yes votes, motion carries. All right, that concludes our agenda portion of the meeting. We This time we have time if anyone would like to address the council on a non-agenda item. Would it, do we have anyone that would like to do that? All right, council, does anyone have anything? No. We are adjourned.